All right, all right. So, here we go. This is a Wacom tablet. It's just a simple pen input device, a tablet input device. For all you that don't know, basically, it's just a stylus, and uh, you use it on this surface to control your cursor. There's a lot of great options out there for pen stylus. Well, why I really brought this here is I wanted to see if this would work on this. The MacBook, the MacBook Air M1. When you're adopting new technology, there's a lot of kind of things that could go wrong. And I wanted to see whether or not the drivers would actually work, would actually work for the Wacom tablet, because I've heard that a lot of drivers just don't work. A lot of plugins don't work, some software doesn't work, but for the most part, it should work just fine because it's just a, at the end of the day, it's just an input device. But we're gonna see, I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna test it out in Photoshop because that's primarily where I use it, and hopefully it will run. So let's get going. So, here we go. Let's go. I'm on the Wacom site or Wacom. And I'm just looking for the driver. So let's download the driver and allow. We're gonna see if if the software will work with the hardware. Okay, so now we're just gonna install um, this. We're just gonna plug this in um, and then we'll check to see if it actually works. Um, so I'll be back. So um, I have to use this, you know, uh, basically adapter to plug this in. It's kind of cumbersome. Well, power's on. That's a good sign. Let's move that cable around here, um, and let's go. Okay, so it works. Everything is great. The Wacom tablet, its pen input works perfectly. After I installed the uh, driver, I noticed, uh, obviously, warnings come up that it's not supported. Future Mac OSs may not be supported, um, but I went and restarted it, plugged it in, and it works great. For the most part, I see no issues with it. The stylus moves the cursor around perfectly fine the way it's supposed to. The stylus also, in Photoshop, um, is able to it's able to detect the pressure sensitivity which is great so you can uh, use it properly with uh, you know the brushes making it thicker and thinner with the lighter and heavier strokes or um, using its opacity with pressure sensitivity so I don't see any problems with it works great with Photoshop and do they need to update the driver maybe uh, they probably will just to help support the M1 but at the same time as the legacy driver still works. And that's all that matters. As long as I can use it for my professional work the way I like to work. So I hope you found this helpful in any way. As a creative professional, I use Wacom tablets um, and stylists to help me refine and help me get better and help me produce the work that I do. 
If you have any issues with a Wacom, Wacom, a Wacom tablet, Wacom driver, Wacom tablet and his drivers on the M1, leave in the comments below. I'd like to hear other people's experiences with the Apple M1 and other software, whether it's Wacom or whether it's something else. So thanks again for watching. If you haven't, feel free to subscribe. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. We're trying to grow this community and it's about tech, it's about creative tech, it's about gaming, it's about a lot of things that I'm passionate about and I hope you enjoy it. So until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.